In this video, I'm going to show the procedure of how to add the self-assessment to the multi-source feedback, uh, which is part one of two. Uh, first, we're going to log on as we regularly do with your uh, Maastricht University account, but I'm going to use a test account. I'm going to click on log in, uh, which is uh, going to show us the front page. From there, we click on resources and we find our uh, MSF self-assessment form, which in the case of year one is supposed to be called FPNBP PLS Cohort 2025 Year One, which is a mouthful and only appropriate if you are in year one. If you are in year two, uh, that should be reflected in the title of the form. Then we click on that and we find the First, we find the metadata, which uh, it should be called uh, MSF self-assessment. So if that is not yet filled out, please give it that name. Uh, then we select the appropriate date, which should be the most current one. And we select the appropriate program element, which in this case is psychological perspectives, SIG to 1A and PLS period 1. So let's click on that. And here we see some additional information uh, about what is expected in terms of all of the subcategories of feedback that we're going to go through. You will see that the uh, requested self-assessment feedback is subdivided into the various competencies that are part of the rubrics. Uh, in year one uh, for this MSF form, we're going to use all of them. And with each uh, competency, we will find at the very bottom that there is a performance level uh, that is requested as part of the self-assessment. So that means where you think that your performance level currently is, which should be on track unless you have reason to believe otherwise. When we have filled out the form to our liking, we click on save. And then we very importantly connect the self-assessment to the various workbooks of the courses that we have currently been participating in. So let's click back to the front page and then on workbooks right here. And that reveals the various courses that we might be taking part in. So if we're in the first year, we're going to click on PLS1, click on that, find the assignment within that course, and click on assignments, and we're going to scroll all the way down to the final tip of this period, which is week eight. And it also mentions the self uh, assessment and peer feedback as an expectation of deliverable. We're going to then add our self assessment as an asset, click on done and click on save. Now it's been added to our PLS course uh, and we're going to do the same for the other two. Again, click on resources click on workbooks, scroll to the core, for instance, that would be the next one. Again, find the assignments here, do the same thing, scroll all the way down, find self-assessment pip, add it as a piece of evidence, add an asset, click on self-assessment, same file we've chosen before, select done, select save, and go back to the front where we will finally add it to our last workbook, which again, click on workbook, should be SICT 1A. And again, we can check here in the subtitle that we are in the correct year that we want to add it to. And again, we find the assignments. And at the very bottom, we find the self-assessment and we add our self-assessment as a piece of evidence. And that is part one of uh, how to add the evidence to the multi-source feedback. The other part is the peer feedback, which is a second video. Thank you.